Hi guys, it's Ben here and welcome to my Champions League final preview. It is May 24th, 2018 today. I made my first ever video on this channel on May 27th of 2017, so it's almost exactly a year to the day in three days time, which is the day after the final. That will be a year to the day since I made this uh, channel, you know, the first ever video. I'm, I wore this exact shirt um, and if you told me on that day that in a year's time I'd be sat here making a preview for Liverpool versus Real Madrid in the Champions League final, I would have been absolutely stunned and it's just a phenomenal time to be a Liverpool supporter. As I've said time and time again over the past few weeks, I'm so excited to start the journey tomorrow, flying to Frankfurt before going on to Kiev on Saturday. I am so excited to get into the stadium and just absorb everything and just be in absolute awe of everything that's going to be happening there in Kiev. Uh, and then I think as soon as that first whistle goes, that is when the nerves are going to set in because right now it's just pure excitement. Um, and if you're watching this and you've been with me since day one or you've joined me along the way this season, um, thank you all because, you know, it's just a, an amazing season to start doing this and be able to vlog all the games, um, the European trips in particular. Some of those videos that I've made are just um, looking back at them over the past couple of days, just kind of reminding myself of the journey we've been on. Um, it's been just, you know, almost brings a tear to your eye just kind of thinking about some of those moments um, that we've been able to have with each other. And if you're just watching this for the first time, if you're watching my channel for the first time with this video, thank you very much for doing so and please stay with me, please stay with me for the vlog that's going to come as well um, from Kiev. And then obviously we've got the transfer season, the World Cup to look forward to, but it's been an incredible year. It's been an incredible season to be a Liverpool supporter. Um, it's had its ups and downs, but we're here now in Kiev. We are really clicking at the right time. The last few months we've been superb. The defence has finally been sorted out, it seems, at least to an extent, uh, enough to get us this far in this tournament. Um, the attack is absolutely lethal, the best I've ever seen. You know, it, it really does rival the Suarez, Sturridge, Sterling days. Um, and yeah, wow. What, how can I give much of a tactical kind of preview of this game? Um, I think there are people a lot more qualified than me to do that. I will, you know, let, we have to talk about the, the game, though. we have to talk about Liverpool's approach to the game, and whether we fancy our chances, whether we're the favourites or the underdogs. Um, you know, the, the bookmakers will have their opinions, as I'll, as I'll talk about later on. But in my opinion, this is about as 50-50 as it gets. I know the danger of Real Madrid. I've been watching them. I've been admiring them for years. This Real Madrid side is, is one of the most fascinating and... Um, just hard to beat sides in European football history. Um, I was at the Champions League final in Cardiff last year um, as a neutral. I managed to get free tickets um, for a winning competition actually, funnily enough. Um, and I was right down the front on the halfway line watching Luka Modric and Tony Cruz and Casemiro absolutely blow my mind. Um, I think Luka Modric was the standout player that day. His speed of thought and feet um, it was just like one of the most, it was one of the best sporting performances I've ever seen from anyone. Um, and I, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of lots of sports, I've seen a lot, but that Modric that day and Ronaldo, um, it was special. Um, so I know exactly what we've come up against, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do. And lots of you guys would have seen more of Madrid than I would have done this season. I've seen most of their Champions League games, um, I've seen a few league games, though not many. I don't really watch La Liga, um, but we all know what they're all about, we all know who the main men are, and we all know that. They're, they're they're not perfect because that their league form this season has shown that. Um, but individually, I mean, every player, bar maybe one or two, is world class and have won this competition before. Know what it's like to win trophies at the elite level, both internationally uh, and on club level, of course. So. I don't really know how they're going to line up because there's no best eleven that they've really stuck to in the big games. If, you, if I was just looking before, looking at the, the, the team they picked against PSG, even against Barcelona when they played Spurs earlier on this season, even in the, the Bayern Munich games, there's not an 11, there's not even a, a, a 9 or 10 that are, that are certain. Um, so it's really interesting. I mean, Gareth Bale's coming into form at the moment, um, but Karim Benzema is a big game player. Isco has been really good for them this season, but you know, there's players like Asensio, Lucas Vasquez seems to get a lot of games, especially big ones, so it, I don't know who Zidane's going to trust, to be honest. Um, what we do know, though, really, is Liverpool's eleven is pretty much set in stone. Now, the way they uh, line up on the pitch is by no means set in stone, but the team is going to be the same as it has been all along. It's going to be Karius, Trent, uh, Van Dijk, Lovren, Robertson, um, 
five players that have done brilliantly in recent weeks. Um, Henderson, Vinaldum, and James Milner, who I cannot speak highly enough of. And then obviously the front three of Mane, Firmino and Salah, but will it be more of a 4-4-2 by the time the game kicks off? Um, will Salah maybe play central? Um, and maybe Firmino wide, just to kind of occupy, you know, more than one man, drag a centre back out, leave space. I, I am not the man to to, to break down how Liverpool are going to get out Real Madrid. Um, we know the eleven players are going to be on the pitch, and we know who the danger men are, as is the case with them. But who knows what's going to happen? I mean, we are going to have to obviously start fast, and I think we haven't really been behind this season in the Champions League since uh, the group stages. We've been in control of every tie from minute one. Um, so if we do face adversity, if Real Madrid do get an early lead, then I mean, who knows what happens? You know, do they sit back and it's us trying to break them down? Are they capable of keeping us out if they invite pressure? Um, so it's there's so many fascinating battles. There's so many fascinating tactical uh, conundrums and dilemmas that Klopp and Zidane are going to have to think about. Um, I think for us, it is about just play our game um, and. We, we've done it for for nine months or ten months now, um, and we've got this far. So, just as it was in thirteen fourteen when we played Chelsea at Anfield, um, I was saying then play our own way. It didn't work, you know, for whatever reason. Um, I think we got a bit unlucky. Uh, I stand by that. I don't think we should take a more pragmatic approach. Obviously, there are little nuances that we have to um, maybe maybe tweak our game ever so slightly to, to, to watch out for Ronaldo and Bale or whoever may, may start, Benzema, Risco. Um, so many dangerous players, world-class players, but essentially every single player, every single Liverpool player has their own little story. Um, and I just don't think any of them are going to buckle under this pressure. I think they've done so well to get this far. No one would have expected at the start of the competition. Um, I think after Porto, everyone really took notice. And I, I saw the City tyres 50-50 myself. Um, and they were even stronger favourites than Real Madrid are here. Um, and then obviously Roma, we were favourites. And, you know, we, yes, it was 7-6, but we blew them away. It was never in doubt. Um, so here we are. We are going to Kiev. Uh, to watch the Reds play Real Madrid, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have a bet right here, right now on the game. Um, it's I don't know what I fancy. It's I'm as as I said, I'm not nervous yet. I, I, I've got a feeling of confidence, and I've got a feeling that Mo Salah. It's been his year. He's surely going to have the final say. But then again, Ronaldo. Um, anyway. You will have your own opinion, so do leave a comment um, with, with what your score prediction is. So if you are over the age of 18 and in the UK, uh, then keep on watching because I do want to tell you about this app that I've been using for a while and they have been kind enough to, to sponsor me um, for this video, which is, um, which is very kind of them. So you can see that all the events come up as a nice little screen. Um, there's some tennis going on, rugby, some other football matches. Obviously, the one we're most interested in uh, is Real Madrid versus Liverpool. So let's go into that. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, full time, team to go through, double chance. Um, correct score might have some nice odds. Let's have a look at some of them. Let's give that notification. Um, what do we think? I don't want to go safe because, like, do I really fancy us to, to thrash them? Do I want to go for high odds or low odds? Um, the great thing about this app is it can supercharge your odds at any point. So you could put a bet on. So let's say I want to go for Liverpool to win 4 1, right? Uh, let's have a look there. Um, so that's 27 to 1, Liverpool to win by four goals to one. Um, but that might not actually end up being um, 27 to 1. So let's put a quid on that. So it would pay out 28 quid. Let's place that bet. This might get boosted to something a lot bigger than 27 to 1. So here we go. Here we're about to find out are we going to get boosted here? It's 27 to 1. Oh, I think we're going to get boosted. Here we go. So 27 to 1 becomes. 55 to 1, that is over double the odds that it was supposed to be. So, look, 4 1, it's not out of the question. Um, I'm just putting a quid on to have a bit of fun with it. I'm not, you know, expecting you guys to, to spend big here. It's just uh, just a bit of fun. It is a Champions League final after all. So, if you are over 18, um, do have a go at that. You can put accumulators on if you want. Uh, as I say, there's, there's my bet there. It's normal odds 27 to 1, quiff 55 to 1. So, lots to do on this app. Loads of sports on there, all your favourite sports. Um, 
and there's there's the fun aspect of, of anything getting quiffed and some nice little graphics and everything um, so yeah if you are over 18 as I say I highly recommend it it's good fun and if you do want to use quiff then please use the link in my description because that will have a code which means they'll know that I sent you there um, and I want them to think that I've done a good job because um, it is a product that I actually do really like I've known about it since since day one when they first launched and yeah so please if you do fancy having a little bit uh, then use the link in my description because the more uh, the better they think I did, the more chance I'll get sponsored again, and that means I can go and create more cool content for you guys, and everyone's a winner. Let's get back to the preview. So we are two days away from the final. Oh, we are we are so close to, you know, I was 12 years old when um when, when we when we played AC Milan in Istanbul. I'm 25 now, and this is the first European final I've I've been to as a Liverpool fan. I didn't go to Basel. Um. So this is kind of the biggest, <laughs> the biggest football match I've, I've ever been to. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling so many emotions right now. So much going through my head. I just want to get there safely and want to actually get there. I've seen flights, there's some issues with some, some travel today and you know, nobody wants to see any of that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess, let me know where you're watching it. Let me know if any of you guys are from Ukraine and you want to kind of, um, if you're going to be out there, let, let me know. I know it's going to be a big fan park with um, the, the Boss Night guys uh, putting on something there. I know the Anfield Rap and Revan TV have got stuff going on, so hopefully there's not too much um, going through passport control today at, on Friday and Saturday, rather, um, and we don't run into any issues because, yeah, we want to all get this in plenty of time, have a few drinks, um, get to the game, and then have the night of our lives. Uh, it's so exciting. Thank you for so much for watching everything that I've been doing this season if you've been there since day one um, and that's all I've got to say this is it this is the last time I'll be sitting in this chair previewing a game this season uh, the next time you'll see me on this channel will be the vlog from the final which way will it go who knows subscribe to this channel please if you are new and find out exactly how my travels go and follow me you know even just as importantly follow me on Instagram because I'm putting loads of pictures and stories up there it's Ben might say on there uh, snapchat Facebook and Twitter too um, but Instagram's the main one and guys I'll see you in Kiev <laughs>